Hey there friends, Nibs again. I uh, want to get out to the range and uh, do a little test firing with uh, my new uh, pistol I just picked up. Um, been waiting on a magazine to come in for it. The one that came with it wasn't quite the right one. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it's a pretty cool old gun. Uh, I did feature it, well not feature it, but it was in my last video that I did where I uh, showed you uh, several different uh, guns that I have that are uh, German uh, World War II uh, vintage guns um, and this particular one is a uh, FEG Femaru model 37 uh, Hungarian make um, this one is chambered for 32 ACP um, not going to get too much into the history of this one this one is a German World War II uh, 32 ACP caliber uh, made in 1941 um, if you want to see a little bit more on the history of it uh, go back to the, the video previous to this one uh, I did do a uh, little bit more of a deep dive on uh, what the history is but um, I did get this magazine for it uh, yesterday so I was kind of excited to get out here and give this a try um, I am uh, just gonna be shooting. We've got a uh, falling plate rack here. Um, just gonna be shooting at that, uh, and uh, just mainly looking to make sure the thing functions more than anything, because uh, uh, this uh, is a new magazine for this gun, so it may or may not uh, cycle properly. So we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Um, it looks like it's the right magazine now. The other one was too short. It would never pick up. Uh, and actually, I had, was comparing it to some other magazines uh, in some of my other guns. And it looks like it's uh, an exact uh, fit for my Drysa. I think that's how you pronounce it, Drysa. Uh, early 1900s uh, German gun. Uh, so, got to magazine that'll fit that so um, I got this one off of eBay this magazine uh, and uh, so far it looks like it's uh, going to do the job so uh, sights are very minimal on this thing I'm, I might have to uh, put a little uh, orange dot on that front sight because I can't see it it just disappears uh, in, into the blade but uh, let's uh, let's just see how it does here first one so it does have a, uh, a grip safety as well as well as a uh, uh, very 1911 ish uh, type of action um, other than the uh, other than the heel release of the magazine but that's pretty typical uh, European uh, firearms so uh, but the rest of it seems like a, a nice little scaled down 1911 type of uh, arrangement. Oop. I hit it, it didn't fall over. There we go. So, good thing there were seven in here because I needed the seventh one, but there you go. All the plates are down. Um, but, uh, 32's got just a you know a little bit of uh, not quite as much punch as I uh, you really need for these steels uh, these are really made for more like a nine millimeter and 45 type of thing uh, 38 special 357 but if you hit them up towards the top it usually has enough inertia to knock them over but so anyway there you go that's the uh, femaru feg model 37 uh, does have some pretty uh, interesting uh, proof marks on it. I'll put some cop copy of those up in here. There's one uh, up here on the tip of the barrel too. So anyway, I just want to get this out and give it a test drive and uh, let you guys see the first shot. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.